Hey, what's up guys? Brad with Squared Away Every Day, and today we're going to be talking about should you wait for the Model Y with the new 4680 batteries coming? We could even be talking about the refresh on the Model S. Yes, it just had a refresh, but now again, in 2022, it's getting like some tail light updates and some headlight updates and whatever. It's getting some updates just like the Y is, just like the 3 is. They're all getting minor updates this year. And this video is going to be talking about my perspective on should you wait or not for those upgrades. Now, if you haven't had a chance yet, please go ahead and like the video, sub to the channel, and let's just kind of hop in to it. Okay, so personally speaking, when we're talking about upgrades coming to a car or new features coming to the car or whatever, my personal opinion is that's really hard to time. It's kind of like timing the stock market or timing Bitcoin. It's really hard to do. And so whether we're talking about the stock market or we're talking about Bitcoin or we're talking about Teslas, my personal opinion is time in the car is gonna be trying to time the purchase of the car. Same thing with the market. Markets. It's really difficult to say when anything is going to come out these days because of all the part shortages we have, because of all the uh, labor problems that we have these days. And so to just say, hey, we're going to have the 4680 battery in the Model Y mid-22 or by the end of 22, that's really a loaded thing to say. We can't really predict that at all. And as we know, as great of a, Tesla, as great of a company Tesla is, they're really bad at meeting their deadlines, meeting their timelines lines like anybody is these days with the crazy climate we find ourselves in with the part shortage and the labor shortage and all that good stuff. Now, me personally, I really try not to be the first guy that's going to own any particular new device or feature on a car or a refresh on a car. Granted, I've got the Model S Plaid and there are some things that are kind of irritating about it, but it's best if you can not be that guy that's going to be the guinea pig for it. And so me personally, I don't like that. I'd rather other people go do it You've got a year of maybe people testing that stuff out. They can get frustrated with it. They can send it in. They can give the feedback to Tesla. And then you can buy the refined version of that particular car. So being the guinea pig for all these new features on the cars or just any sort of technology or product is generally a bad idea. But let's be honest. Even if you get the 4680 batteries or whatever you're waiting for in the next refresh of whatever car you're looking at, is really 20 miles of range or 30 miles of range gonna make that big of a difference? Is the structural integrity of the car, or it being a little bit more rigid or stiff, gonna make that big of a difference to you? It's gonna be negligible. And to be honest with you, a lot of times why car companies do these kinds of things is to save money. It's not necessarily a huge upgrade to you. So that's just my two cents on it, guys. If you like the video, please go ahead and give me a like, give me a sub, and we'll see you in the next one.